Could a simple penny in your pocket be worth a fortune? In this video, we explore the rarest and most valuable pennies in U.S. history that have sold for millions of dollars at auction. What if I told you that a simple one-cent coin could be worth millions of dollars? It sounds like a fantasy, but there's one little penny that's got collectors on the edge of their seats. The 1967 No Mint Mark Lincoln one-cent penny. In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating history behind this coin, why it doesn't have a mint mark, and how some rare variations could make you an overnight millionaire. First things first, let's take a quick look at the coin itself. This is a 1967 Lincoln cent. At first glance, it looks like any other penny from the era. It features President Abraham Lincoln on the front, or obverse, and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. But here's where things get interesting. There's no mint mark. Now, what does that mean, and why does it matter so much? Normally, U.S. coins have a small letter indicating where they were made, a mint mark. For example, D stands for Denver, S for San Francisco, and so on. But in 1967, you'll notice that Lincoln pennies, like this one, don't have any mint mark at all. The reason? It all started in the mid-1960s during a massive coin shortage. Coin collectors were hoarding coins, especially ones from certain mints, creating a circulation crisis. To discourage this, the U.S. Mint decided to remove mint marks from all coins between 1965 and 1967. This move was intended to reduce hoarding and stabilize the coin supply. So, the lack of a mint mark on a 1967 penny isn't a mistake. It was a deliberate decision by the government. But that's not the end of the story. There's still something extraordinary about these coins that could make them worth more than just a penny. Okay, here's where things get really interesting. While most 1967 pennies aren't worth much more than face value, there are some extremely rare exceptions. Those rare minting errors or coins in pristine condition that drive their value through the roof. Coins in perfect condition, meaning flawless, uncirculated, and without any wear, can fetch a pretty penny at auctions. In fact, a near-perfect 1967 Lincoln cent was graded MS 67 plus, mint state 67 plus, and it sold for over $6,000 at auction. But that's just the beginning. Even more valuable are the error coins. These are pennies that have flaws or mistakes made during the minting process which makes them incredibly rare and sought after by collectors. Some of these coins, especially ones with dramatic double dies or off-center strikes, have sold for tens of thousands of dollars. And the Holy Grail? Well, some sources speculate that certain unique era coins from this period, ones that have yet to be discovered, could potentially be worth up to millions of dollars if they're in mint condition. But why is that? Error coins happen when something goes wrong during the minting process, whether it's a misalignment, a double strike, or a planchet, that's the blank metal piece a coin is struck on, with defects. These errors make each coin one of a kind, and collectors love uniqueness. The most famous of these errors is the double die, where part of the image is struck twice, creating a ghost or shadow effect. If you happen to find a 1967 penny with this kind of error, you could be sitting on a small fortune. So, you might be asking yourself, how can I find one of these rare coins? Well, it's easier than you think. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to start your hunt. Step 1. Start digging through your spare change. These pennies are still in circulation, so there's a chance you might have one hiding in plain sight. Step 2. Grab a magnifying glass and check for any unusual features like off-center strikes, double images, or anything that seems out of the ordinary. Even slight differences can make a big impact on value. Step 3. If you think you've found something special, consider getting the coin graded by a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. A high grade could skyrocket the value of your coin. The grading process will give your coin an official rating, which collectors rely on when buying and selling rare coins. The 1967 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny may not have been intended to be special, but over time, some of these coins have gained immense value. Whether it's a flawless, high-grade coin or a unique error, the right penny could change your life. So, if you've got a 1967 penny lying around, you might want to take a closer look. 
Who knows? It could be worth millions of dollars. Could a simple 1989 Lincoln cent penny you find in your pocket change be worth? Millions? It might sound like a fantasy, but today, we're diving deep into one of the rarest and most valuable coin mysteries, the 1989 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. Stay with me, because you might just discover that you've been sitting on a hidden treasure. The Lincoln Cent, an iconic coin in U.S. history, has been in circulation since 1909, commemorating the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. But it's not just a common coin for buying your morning coffee. Some pennies are unique, rare, and worth a fortune. And today, we're focusing on one very specific penny, the 1989 No Mint Mark Lincoln Cent. Now, to understand why the 1989 penny could be so valuable, we need to dive into some quick coin basics. Most U.S. coins have a mint mark, a tiny letter on the front that tells us where the coin was made. P stands for Philadelphia, D for Denver, and S for San Francisco. But, in 1989, something strange happened. There are pennies out there without a mint mark, and they were not supposed to exist. These coins are known as no mint mark pennies, and they come from a fascinating error. So, what makes the 1989 no mint mark Lincoln cent so rare? Well, the U.S. Mint struck most coins correctly, but some pennies came out missing the mint mark due to a die error at the Philadelphia Mint. Typically, Philadelphia pennies didn't have a mint mark before 1980, but in 1989, all pennies should have had a P or D. So, the absence of a mint mark on a 1989 penny is a major rarity and could be considered a mistake. Now, let's talk about the money. Some error coins like the famous 1943 copper penny or 1955 double die penny, have fetched millions at auction. In the world of coin collecting, rarity and condition are everything. If a 1989 no mint Mark Lincoln penny is in perfect condition, known as mint state or MS-70, it could be worth an astronomical amount. Why so much? Well, collectors go crazy for error coins, especially ones that are supposed to be nearly impossible to find. Some experts believe that pristine 1989 no mint mark pennies could be valued in the hundreds of thousands, or even over a million dollars. And as time goes on, the rarity only increases, driving up the value. So, how do you know if you have one of these rare 1989 no mint mark pennies? First, grab your change jar and look at every 1989 penny you can find. Inspect the area below the date, right here. If there's no mint mark, meaning no P or D, you might just have struck gold, or rather copper. But here's the catch. It has to be in great condition to hit those million-dollar prices. Coins that have been in circulation and have where might still be worth more than face value, but the perfect mint condition ones are the real jackpot. Finding a 1989 no mint Mark Lincoln penny could be like winning the lottery. But even if you don't stumble upon one, this is a reminder to always check your pocket change. You never know what rare treasures could be hiding there. And if you're a collector or just getting started, make sure to protect your finds. Condition is key. So, what are you waiting for? Go check your pennies and comment below if you think you've got a rare find. And remember to hit that like button. Subscribe for more coin collecting tips, and stay tuned for more videos where we uncover hidden treasures in the most unexpected places. Can you imagine having a penny that could be worth millions of dollars? Well, buckle up because today, we're diving into the world of a special coin, the 1984 Lincoln One Cent Penny with no mint mark. Is this common looking coin really worth a fortune? Let's break down the mystery, the history, and the potential jackpot behind it. The Lincoln cent has been a part of American currency since 1909, when it was introduced to celebrate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. But the coin we're talking about today is from 1984, specifically, the 1984 Lincoln penny that lacks a mint mark. You might have one of these in your pocket right now. Before we jump into the jaw-dropping value, let's talk about mint marks. Mint marks indicate where a coin was produced. In the U.S., you'll usually see letters like D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco, and no mint mark at all for Philadelphia. For most Lincoln pennies, not having a mint mark is completely normal, 
especially for those minted in Philadelphia. So, why would a 1984 penny with no mint mark be worth millions? This is where things get interesting. The real star of the show here isn't just the lack of a mint mark. It's a minting error that makes certain 1984 pennies incredibly valuable. Have you ever heard of a double die error? It's when a coin's design is accidentally struck twice, causing certain features to appear doubled or distorted. In the case of the 1984 penny, the doubling is most noticeable on Lincoln's ear. If you take a close look, you can see that Lincoln appears to have a second earlobe. This doubling error turns a common penny into a collector's dream. Now, here's why this 1984 penny with a double die error is so exciting. These coins are extremely rare. Only a small batch from the Philadelphia Mint ended up with this mistake, and as time goes on, finding one in good condition becomes even harder. So, what's the potential payoff for finding one of these rare pennies? Depending on its condition, a 1984 double die penny can fetch anywhere from a few hundred dollars to several thousand dollars at auction. In perfect mint condition, these pennies can easily sell for $15,000 to $20,000 or more. But there have been rare instances of these pennies being valued at over $100,000 in unique circumstances. While it might not make you an instant millionaire, finding one of these in your change is like hitting a small jackpot. Alright, so now you're probably wondering, asterisk asterisk how can you spot one of these valuable pennies asterisk asterisk in your own collection? First, you'll need a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop. Look carefully at Lincoln's ear. If you see what looks like a second earlobe, you might be holding a winner. Also, check the In God We Trust motto and the date. Sometimes doubling can appear in the lettering as well. But the ear is the key sign for this specific coin. So, you've found what looks like a 1984 double die penny. Now what? Your next step is to have the coin authenticated by a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. Once your coin is verified, you can look into selling it through a reputable coin dealer or auction house. Remember, the better condition your penny is in, the more valuable it can be. Even minor scratches can lower the value, so handle it with care. The 1984 Lincoln penny may seem ordinary at first glance, but with a rare double die error, it can turn into a life-changing discovery. So, next time you get a handful of change, take a close look. You never know what kind of treasure you might find. Asterisk. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating coin stories and hidden treasures. Have you checked your pennies lately? Who knows, you might have a hidden fortune just waiting to be discovered. In today's video, we're exploring one of the most intriguing coins in American numismatics, the 1988 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. From its origin to its skyrocketing value, we'll break it all down. Let's start with a bit of history on the 1988 penny. The Lincoln cent has been a part of U.S. currency since 1909, featuring the iconic profile of Abraham Lincoln. In 1988, millions of these pennies were minted, both in Philadelphia and Denver. Normally, the pennies minted in Philadelphia bear no mint mark, while those from Denver have a small d. But here's where the mystery begins. So why is there a 1988 penny without a mint mark, and why is it so special? First, we have to understand how mint marks work. Mint marks indicate where a coin was produced, Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver, D, or San Francisco, S. In 1988, both Philadelphia and Denver were churning out pennies in huge numbers, but something unusual happened with some 1988 pennies from Philadelphia. They were struck without a mint mark and feature an unusual reverse design. This brings us to the fascinating part. The reverse of some 1988 pennies has a design typically seen on 1989 coins. That's right. A small number of 1988 pennies seem to have been struck using a die intended for the following year. This is known as a die transition error. While the design differences are subtle, primarily in the shape of the initials FG on the reverse near the Lincoln Memorial, this mistake makes the coin incredibly rare. Experts believe only a handful of these coins exist, making them a numismatic treasure. 
The rarity combined with the history of this error has led to auctions where these pennies fetch enormous prices. In some cases, collectors have paid hundreds of thousands, even millions, for one of these error coins in mint condition. Let's talk about the price tag. Yes, you heard that right. Some of these 1988 no mint mark pennies have sold for over a million dollars. At a recent auction, a pristine example of this rare penny sold for an astonishing sum. While most coins won't reach that level, the right combination of rarity, condition, and demand has created a perfect storm for these pennies to be incredibly valuable. Now you're probably wondering, do you have one of these valuable pennies in your collection? Here's what to look for. 1. Check the year. It needs to be 1988.2. Look closely for the absence of a mint mark under the date point 3. Examine the reverse side carefully with a magnifying glass. Check for the FG initials. If the initials resemble those found on a 1989 penny, you may have hit the jackpot. If you think you've found one, your next step is to have it authenticated by a professional coin grading service. Reputable organizations like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, can grade and verify your coin, which is crucial if you're looking to sell it at auction. So, could you be sitting on a million-dollar penny without even knowing it? The 1988 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny is one of the most fascinating finds in the coin world. And who knows? One of these rare gems could be hiding in your collection right now. Remember, always double-check your coins before cashing them in, because sometimes even a penny can be worth a fortune. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, hit the like button. Subscribe for more fascinating coin stories, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Drop a comment if you've ever found a valuable coin or if you think you have one of these rare 1988 pennies. Could a simple penny be worth millions of dollars? You might be surprised to learn that a small copper coin like this one, the 1951 No Mint Mark Lincoln Cent, has a story that's fascinated collectors for decades. In this video, we'll explore its history, significance, and why some of these pennies are valued at extraordinary prices. To understand the allure of the 1951 Lincoln cent, let's take a quick trip back to 1950s America. The U.S. was booming after World War II, with an economy on the rise. The Lincoln cent had been in circulation since 1909, designed by sculptor Victor David Brenner to honor President Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday. Brenner's iconic design featuring Lincoln's profile became an enduring symbol of American currency, making the Lincoln cent one of the most recognizable coins in history. By 1951, these pennies were being produced by the billions, mostly by the Philadelphia Mint. If you've ever looked closely at a penny, you may have noticed a small letter under the date. That's the mint mark, indicating where the coin was made, D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco, and no mint mark for Philadelphia. So, when we say no mint mark, it simply means the coin was minted in Philadelphia, which was the primary mint for Lincoln cents at the time. So why the fascination with a seemingly common penny from Philadelphia? It's all about rarity, condition, and the hunt for errors. The 1951 no mint mark Lincoln cent is highly collectible, especially in pristine condition. Collectors seek coins graded in mint state condition by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC where values can range from hundreds to thousands of dollars. But here's where it gets interesting. There are some extremely rare era coins from 1951 that have been known to sell for jaw-dropping prices. These errors can include double dies, off-center strikes, or even coins struck on the wrong metal planchet. In the world of coin collecting, some rare Lincoln cents from the early 20th century, especially with significant minting errors, have been known to sell for over a million dollars at auction. While the 1951 no mint mark Lincoln cent hasn't fetched that astronomical sum yet, it's not impossible, particularly if a rare, undiscovered error were to surface. The highest prices are often driven by collectors' desire for coins that are one-of-a-kind or in flawless condition. Coins graded MS67 or higher can command extremely high premiums, and the search for the next record-breaking penny continues. So, how do you know if you have a 1951 Lincoln cent that could be worth a fortune? Start by checking for any minting errors, 
look for things like doubling in the date, letters, or Lincoln's profile. You can also look for off-center strikes or any unusual markings. Next, check the condition. If the penny is in near-perfect, uncirculated condition, you might have something special on your hands. It's worth getting the coin professionally graded if you think it's in excellent shape. If you think you've struck gold with a rare 1951 penny, the first step is to get it authenticated by a professional coin grading service. This will help determine its value and ensure you're getting a fair price if you decide to sell it. From there, you can either sell it at an auction, to a coin dealer, or keep it as part of your collection. Either way, having a rare piece of history like this is an incredible find. Who would have thought a penny could be worth millions? While most 1951 Lincoln cents are only worth face value, some have the potential to be worth a fortune. So, next time you come across loose change, take a second look. You might just have a treasure in your pocket. We're diving deep into the history, mystery, and potential millions behind the 1971 Lincoln one-cent penny, without a mint mark. If you're into coins, collecting, or just curious if that spare change in your pocket is valuable, stay tuned. This video might change your life. Asterisk. First, let's talk about what makes this 1971 penny special. Why would a small, seemingly insignificant copper coin be valued so highly? The Lincoln cent was first introduced in 1909 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Over the years, the penny has had many changes in design and composition, but in 1971, something unexpected happened that caught the attention of collectors worldwide. Asterisk. What's the deal with the 1971 penny that has no mint mark? If you look closely at most coins, you'll see a small letter that indicates where the coin was minted, whether it's D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco, or P4 Philadelphia. Asterisk. Typically, Philadelphia mint coins from this time didn't have a mint mark, but here's where it gets interesting. Not all 1971 pennies are created equal and some of them have rare minting errors or are in exceptionally pristine condition. Asterisk. For a penny like this to reach astronomical value, its condition has to be almost perfect. This means the coin should be graded mint state 65 or higher by professional coin graders. Coins graded at this level are incredibly rare, and collectors will pay top dollar for them. Asterisk. Now, here's where things get really exciting. A pristine 1971 Lincoln cent with no mint mark has the potential to fetch tens of thousands, or even millions of dollars at auction. Why? Because collectors are always on the lookout for rare, error-free pennies in mint condition. Asterisk. Just imagine, a single penny that was minted over 50 years ago could be worth more than your car or even your house. In fact, some similar Lincoln pennies from other years with rare features or minting errors have sold for upwards of $1.7 million at auctions. Asterisk. Another reason this penny could be so valuable is due to minting errors. Coins from this era sometimes feature double strikes, off-center prints, or other unique flaws that make them highly desirable to collectors. While not every 1971 penny has these errors, finding one could mean striking gold. Asterisk. All right, so how do you know if your 1971 penny is worth millions? Let me walk you through it. First, grab a magnifying glass and carefully inspect your coin. 1. Check for the absence of a mint mark. 2. Inspect the coin's condition. Look for wear and scratches. 3. Look for potential minting errors, such as doubled images or off-center strikes. 4. Get it professionally graded by a coin expert or company like PCGS or NGC. Asterisk. If you think your penny might be in excellent condition, it's crucial to have it professionally graded. Grading services like PCGS and NGC will determine your coin's grade and authenticity, which will significantly affect its value. Asterisk. So, could you be holding a million-dollar penny in your hand right now? It's definitely possible. Coins like the 1971 No Mint Mark Lincoln Send remind us that rare treasures are often hiding in plain sight. Don't forget to check your pockets, change jars, or even that old piggy bank. It just might make you rich. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below if you think you might have a rare coin in your collection. 
Until next time, happy hunting. We're diving into a fascinating story about a seemingly ordinary coin, the 2000 Lincoln one cent penny, that could be worth millions. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's break down its history, why it's special, and how you might just have a fortune sitting in your piggy bank. Let's get into it. The Lincoln cent has been a staple of American currency for over 100 years. It was first introduced back in 1909 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. Over the years, this coin has undergone a few design changes, but in 1959, the reverse was changed to feature the Lincoln Memorial, which continued until 2008. But what about the 2000 no mint mark Lincoln cent? Well, it's a part of the Philadelphia Mint series. Typically, Philadelphia coins don't have a mint mark, unlike those from Denver, which have a D, or San Francisco, with an S. So, no mint mark doesn't mean it's an error. It simply means it was minted in Philadelphia. So, what makes the 2000 Lincoln penny worth more than just a cent? Well, in rare cases, coins from this series have unique errors, varieties, or special conditions that collectors go crazy for. Let me explain. One of the most coveted errors is the double die variety, where parts of the design, like Lincoln's profile or the lettering, appear to be doubled. Coins with errors like this are highly sought after by collectors, and in pristine, uncirculated condition, they can fetch thousands, sometimes millions, at auction. Now, here's the part you've all been waiting for. How can you tell if your 2,000 penny is worth big bucks? Grab your pennies, a magnifying glass, and pay close attention to these key features. 1. Look closely at the date, or the words liberty, and in God we trust. If they appear doubled, you might be in for a treat. 2. Coins in uncirculated or mint condition, without any scratches or wear, are worth significantly more. Even slight imperfections can drastically lower the value. 3. Some rare coins were minted slightly off-center, giving them a unique look. These are rare but valuable. Okay, so how much are we talking here? Believe it or not, some Lincoln pennies from similar years have sold for hundreds of thousands, or even over a million dollars. For example, a rare 1999 wide AM penny sold for over $10,000 at auction. And with collectors always on the hunt for rare varieties, the 2000 Lincoln cent could be your ticket to a small fortune. Recently, error coins from the 2000 series have popped up in auctions for as much as $5,000 to $10,000. But who knows? If a truly rare variety is found, that number could go even higher. Got a penny that looks promising? The next step is getting it appraised. You can send it to a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC to have it officially graded and authenticated. These services will evaluate the condition, check for errors, and give it an official rating. And remember, the higher the grade, the more money it could be worth. So, who would have thought that a simple penny could be worth a million dollars? Make sure to check your pocket change, and who knows, you might just have a hidden treasure right in front of you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome coin collecting content. Drop a comment below if you've got any cool coins or if you're into coin collecting. Thanks for watching, and good luck treasure hunting! We're focusing on a rare and mysterious penny from 1973, one without a mint mark. You may ask, what makes a no mint mark coin such a big deal? Let's first understand a bit about how U.S. coins are made and why this missing mint mark is so important. The U.S. Mint produces millions of coins each year in different locations, including Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Normally, coins carry a tiny letter indicating where they were minted. For example, a D stands for Denver, and an S stands for San Francisco. But what about Philadelphia? Surprisingly, Pennies made in Philadelphia traditionally had no mint mark. So, if Philadelphia pennies normally don't have a mint mark, why is the 1973 penny so intriguing? In 1973, most pennies struck in Philadelphia were considered standard issue, but something unusual happened that year. A limited number of these no mint mark pennies were struck with a subtle difference that set them apart. 
speculation began in the coin-collecting community about these rare variations, which led to increased attention on the 1973 penny. Now, here's the big question. Why could a 1973 Lincoln penny with no mint mark be worth millions? The answer lies in rarity and demand. Coin collectors and enthusiasts often search for unique errors, limited editions, or small variations that distinguish one coin from the millions of others. A well-preserved penny from this year could become a treasure for collectors. Coins are graded based on their condition, from circulated to mint state. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin becomes. Combine that with the right kind of rarity, and you're looking at an item that can fetch a massive price at auction. Over the years, rare 1973 pennies with no mint mark have gone on to sell for hundreds of thousands, even millions, at auction. These prices are driven by the coin's grade, its rarity, and the competitive nature of collectors. In fact, one of the most notable sales saw a 1973 penny go for over a million dollars. Wondering if you've got a valuable 1973 penny in your collection? Here's what to do. First, check for the absence of a mint mark. Then, inspect the coin's condition. Pennies that have been kept in excellent condition, without signs of wear, are your best bet for high value. To truly understand the worth of your penny, you'll need to have it graded by a professional coin grading service. This involves experts assessing the coin's condition and authenticity. Companies like PCGS and NGC specialize in this process and will encapsulate your coin to protect its value. If you're lucky enough to own a rare 1973 penny, selling it can be as thrilling as finding it. Auctions are one of the best ways to sell high-value coins, especially those as rare as this one. Heritage Auctions and Stax Bowers are well-known auction houses that specialize in rare coins. Additionally, online platforms like eBay can also be a place to connect with collectors. So, the next time you're rummaging through your pocket change, take a moment to inspect those pennies carefully. You never know, that one cent could turn out to be worth millions. If you like this video and want more content on rare coins, fascinating histories, and valuable finds, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Who knows what other treasures we'll uncover next? Imagine owning a penny that could be worth millions of dollars. What if I told you that a simple penny from 1982 could be the key to unlocking a fortune? Sounds crazy, right? Well, it's not. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the 1982 Lincoln Cent, specifically, the elusive 1982 No Mint Mark Penny. Let's find out why collectors are going crazy for this small, copper coin and whether you might have one in your pocket. The Lincoln Cent, introduced in 1909, was a tribute to President Abraham Lincoln on his 100th birthday. Since then, it has been one of the most widely circulated coins in American history. But by 1982, a major change was underway. Due to rising copper prices, the U.S. Mint made a crucial decision to switch from solid copper pennies to ones made mostly of zinc with just a thin copper coating. This year became a turning point for the penny, and something very special happened. So, what's the deal with the 1982 penny? Here's the twist. In 1982, the U.S. Mint produced pennies at both the Philadelphia and Denver Mints. The ones from Denver have a small D-mint mark below the date, but Philadelphia pennies were supposed to have no mint mark at all. Normally, a Philadelphia coin without a mint mark isn't anything extraordinary. But here's where things get interesting. In late 1982, the U.S. Mint was transitioning from copper pennies to zinc ones, creating multiple varieties of the penny that year. The pennies were minted in both copper and zinc, and collectors soon realized that some of these coins had mistakes. But the holy grail of 1982 is the discovery of a rare no-mint mark penny on a copper planchet. Essentially, a mistake that never should have happened. Why does this error coin matter so much? Error coins are some of the most valuable and sought-after pieces in the world of coin collecting. The 1982 No Mint Mark penny made from copper is especially rare because it wasn't supposed to exist. Most pennies from Philadelphia that year were made from zinc. The scarcity of this particular error coin has made collectors willing to pay top dollar, sometimes even millions, for it. So, how do you know if you have one of these rare pennies? 
First, you'll need a scale. Copper pennies from 1982 weigh about 3.11 grams, while the zinc pennies weigh just 2.5 grams. If your 1982 penny weighs closer to 3.11 grams and has no mint mark, you may be holding one of the rarest coins in U.S. history. Next, check for any unusual characteristics, errors, double die strikes, or anything out of the ordinary. You may be wondering, has anyone actually sold a 1982 penny for millions? While exact sales of the 1982 no mint mark copper penny are still being verified, similar rare pennies have sold for staggering amounts. For example, a 1943 copper penny sold for over $1.7 million. The possibility that a 1982 version could fetch a similar price is very real. So, could you be sitting on a hidden treasure? It's possible. With millions of 1982 pennies produced, there's always a chance that one of these elusive coins could be hiding in your pocket change, waiting to be discovered. Whether you're a seasoned coin collector or someone just getting started, always check those pennies. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more fascinating coin stories. Let me know in the comments, what's the most valuable coin you've ever found? Until next time, keep searching, and you might just strike gold or copper. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 2013 Lincoln One Cent Penny with no mint mark. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, Stick around because you might be holding a fortune in your hand. Before we get into the mind-blowing value of the 2013 No Mint Mark Penny, let's quickly revisit the history of the Lincoln Cent. The Lincoln Cent, first introduced in 1909 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth, became one of the most iconic coins in U.S. history. Over the years, it has undergone several design changes, from the wheat penny to the memorial reverse, and now to the modern Union Shield reverse. But what makes the 2013 penny so special? If you have a 2013 penny in your pocket right now, you might notice something missing, the mint mark. But hold on, is that a good thing or a bad thing? A mint mark tells you where a coin was produced. For pennies, you'll usually see a D4 Denver or an S4 San Francisco. But if there's no mint mark, like on many 2013 pennies, that means it was minted in Philadelphia. In fact, it's completely normal for pennies from Philadelphia to lack a mint mark. So if the missing mint mark is normal, why are people talking about these coins being worth millions? The rumors of these pennies being worth millions have spread across the internet. But the truth is, a regular 2013 penny with no mint mark isn't rare. The U.S. Mint produced over 3.7 billion pennies that year in Philadelphia alone. Equals. But, there is a way your 2013 penny could be worth significantly more. The key to massive value lies in minting errors. Error coins, like those with double strikes, off-center images, or die cracks, can fetch big bucks from collectors. If your 2013 penny has any noticeable minting error, you might be in for a surprise. Some rare error pennies have sold for hundreds or even thousands of dollars at auction. And if your coin has a unique, major error, it could be worth even more. Here's how you can check your 2013 penny for errors that could make it valuable. First, examine the coin's details using a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop. Look closely at Lincoln's face, the text, and the union shield on the reverse. Next, check for doubling in the lettering, numbers, or images. This is called a double die error. Finally, examine the coin for any unusual shapes or strikes like an off-center image, die cracks, or other anomalies. If you spot any of these errors, it's time to have your coin evaluated by a professional coin grader. A certified error penny could dramatically increase the value. In fact, certain error pennies from the modern era, including those minted in 2013, have sold for thousands of dollars. For example, a 2013 penny with a rare minting error could fetch anywhere from $100 to over $1,000 depending on the severity and uniqueness of the error. If you think you've found a valuable 2013 penny, here's what you should do next. Store the coin in a protective holder to prevent damage. Even a tiny scratch could lower its value. 
Get it graded by a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. A certified grade can authenticate your penny as an error coin and determine its value. Consider selling your coin at a reputable auction house or online through trusted platforms like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or Stax Bowers. So, while most 2013 Lincoln pennies are only worth face value, it's the era coins that can make you a fortune. If you think you found one, be sure to get it checked out. You never know, your pocket change could turn into a small fortune. Have you ever found a valuable coin in your change? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin collecting tips and tricks. Who knows what other treasures are waiting to be discovered in your pocket.